Welcome to the interesting words, confusing words. We're going to learn the differences between 满意 and 满足 First, let's watch a video clip. Yinghua nilai junggu kua inyan laba ganjie zemayan. Hao hao, ge fang mian wo du hen mang yi. Han yu xie de zemayan la. Yo jian nan, bu guo wo de ge zhong xiu xi xiu yao xiu xiao dou nan man zuo. Na zhen tai hao la. In this dialogue, there are two confused words, namely, 满意 and 满足满意 and 满足 have similar meanings. Both of them mean to be satisfied. But you should pay attention to their differences when you use them. 满意 means that something lives up to one's standard or expectation. For example, 这里的菜品种多，味道好，又不贵，客人都非常满意。满足 means something is enough or abundant that one has no other requirement. For example, 我很容易满足，能吃饱穿暖就行了。According to these examples, 满意 has the connotation that emphasizes how great something is, while 满足 stresses that something is enough. Both of them can be used with objects. However, we seldom use the structure 满意 plus object. Instead, we normally use the phrase 对感到满意 in which case the object is fronted. For example, 我不满意你这种态度 or 我对你这种态度感到不满意 When the object is too long, it is often fronted. For example, 我对你认真学习的态度感到很满意 Let's take a look at this video. 老师，这次考试我没考好。没关系，你最近很努力，我对你认真学习的态度很满意。坚持下去，你下次一定能考好。As for 满足 It is often used in a structure, 满足 plus object. However, the objects in this structure are restricted to the words like 需要希望愿望要求好奇心虚荣心 In this case, this structure means to satisfy something or somebody. For example. 我一定满足你的心愿。现在，手机的生产完全可以满足市场的需求。Let's take a look at this video. 听说明天是你的生日，你有什么生日愿望？我想吃好吃的中国菜。这个简单，我一定满足你的心愿。To sum up, 满意 and 满足 are similar in that they are verbs and both mean to satisfy. However, they differ from each other in the following two aspects. First, connotation. 满意 means that something lives up to one's standard or expectation, and emphasizes how great something is. While 满足 stresses that something is enough. Secondly, they form different structures with objects. 满意 can be followed by an object. Yet we seldom use this structure. Normally, we would use 对感到满意 in which case the object is fronted, especially when the object phrase is complicated. As for 满足 the objects that collocate with it are often restricted to the words like 需要好奇心 and so on. In this case. This structure means to satisfy something or somebody. That's all for this class. See you next time. Now let's do some practice. 
please complete the sentences with 满意 or 满足 How's that? Let's check the answer. 一，你能满足他这个小小的要求吗？二，练习时只要有一个地方不满意，他就会重来一遍。三，一个容易满足的人常常能感觉到快乐。四，我对你这次比赛的表现感到非常满意。That's all for this class. See you next time.